Okay, good morning everyone. In this video, we're going to cover um, basing a position off of the stop. It is Friday, August the 11th, 2023, and today I have been following my system. Um, I've been trading one contract on my cash account and three micro NASDAQs here on the top step account. I'm currently sitting up 55 spot 20 on the top step account. Um, so I need to try and make that to 200 to rack up the winning days. Uh, so 200 is kind of the goal. I was down a few hundred, so you know, overall I'm doing all right. Um, guys, a lot of the videos that I make are going to be experimental, just trial and error. So I'm just giving you another idea that if you want to work with it, you can. And if you're like, oh, I don't like this, then don't. You know, I made a video on ICT Basics uh, yesterday, Thursday, August the 10th, in which I talked about uh, using price action based uh, stops. So, for example, like using your order block main threshold stops, using the consequent encroachment of a wick, um, or using a fair value gap or inverted fair value gap stop, or the consequent encroachment of a wick. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about, uh, you know, sometimes, guys, if, if you don't know where the stop is going to go, don't even look at the entry model. Just look like, where am I going? Where would I put the stop? Okay, if I want to get long right here, where would I put the stop? If I want to get short right here, where would I put the, st the stop? And start with that. If you can't identify where you would put a stop, then probably don't take that trade. And guys, as I've been saying before, and I, and I want to just harp on this again, you really do not want to put your stops in liquidity land because that's where you're going to get slippage. That's where things could get pretty bad. So I, I always put my stops in price action, guys, always. I will never put my stop in liquidity land um, because, of the, because of the slippage risk, because of, of how bad things can be. So I would not recommend putting your stop in liquidity land. I would put it in price action because uh, that's where the liquidity is and that's where you're like, you know, you won't, you won't get as much slippage. So anyways, guys, in this, in this uh, video, I'm just recommending to you don't get in a position really unless you know where the stop is going to go. I hope that that makes sense. So like, for example, I would probably want to get short right here and I would look at that as my stop. Okay. Actually, I'm going to take that trade. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, I just wanted to get that out there. Do you see how I'm not putting the stop above that high? Because that's liquidity land, guys. That's that's uh, you're you're probably going to get slippage there. So I wouldn't recommend. I I don't like. Uh, putting stops out in liquidity land, you want to put stops in recent price action. So anyways, that's it guys. Um, I just thought that you would appreciate that. Okay guys, this is uh, basing a position off the stop. Bye-bye.